it has been too long, but uh, don't worry, you were not missing too much. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the vlog every day until Christmas as much as I could do. I got home and the videos were taking like three days to upload, so it just wasn't working. It's been an interesting month since like Christmas ended. Gonna be a good story, but that's a story for another time. Had a lot of trouble. It's literally been like minus 25, minus 30 Celsius uh, like since December in Labrador and Holy shit, it was kicking my ass. For now, for now, right now, we've got some interesting stuff on the go. Um, Banks Power actually sent me um, a really cool module that basically changes how the truck responds to throttle inputs and uh, just wakes the truck up more. And believe me, especially driving around town, these things need it. Highway Queens. I tell you, these things are awesome on the highway. Driving around town, this sucks. The turbo lag, I don't even know if it is actually turbo lag, just the lag in the throttle. The F-250 doesn't really have it, but the F-250 is tuned. So yeah, let's go Let's go get that out. Also got a cool knickknack uh, that another company sent me. I'm gonna be showing you guys that. So yeah, we're gonna be opening that later. Um, super excited about it right now we're headed to Truro to pick up my trailer the trailer's got a bunch of issues guys the ramp the hydraulic ramp um, customer was lifting up on the ramp and just went way too far broke everything it still kind of works so hopefully that'll just do its thing um, brakes gave out lights are giving out right turn signals not working I'm gonna head up to Truro now. It's at a shop. The shop doesn't seem to be really wanting to do any work on it. Uh, story of my life. So yeah, we're gonna go up and maybe hook onto it, get loaded. Um, apparently the customer's load is at Richie Bros. Didn't tell me that. Richie Bros doesn't like when you leave the stuff you bid it on uh, at their compound. So I'm gonna try and get that out for him. I don't know guys, we're just gonna come along and uh, we're gonna talk about some stuff. Quick change of plans. I kind of want to know what's in that box, and I definitely want some Tim Hortons. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna make a quick stop here. Got our Tim's. So, it's a little bit windy. But, that's okay. I am running out of patience, owner. This product will expose you to performance known by the state of California to cause winning <laughs> or other euphoria. That's actually hilarious. Love little touches like that. Oh, we got a cool shirt. Oh shit. <laughs> that is sick. Guys, you can tell what that is. That is like a quarter shot of the, of like a platinum or like this truck. That is actually the coolest thing. Wow, when they said they were gonna send me a t-shirt, I was expecting like, has banks on the back. When they said they were gonna send me a t-shirt, I was thinking it was gonna be like a, like, you know, just like a regular t-shirt with their logo on it. But this is actually epic. Wow. Thank you to the guys at Banks. That's pretty awesome. All right, and this is what we're looking at here. This is a pedal monster. So this is what's actually gonna change how the truck drives and reacts to uh, like throttle inputs. And this is what's gonna make the truck so much more drivable. And I'm really excited to see what it does towing. We've got a big load going up to Labrador this week coming. So we're gonna really see how this works. And what is this? Data monster, okay, so this is the thing that's gonna tell us like temperatures, boost, uh, fuel pressure, all that good stuff right in here because the gauges in the truck kind of suck. So I'm happy I have that. And there's some more stuff. Looks like some hardware. 
That is super exciting. Okay, yeah, suction cup. I don't know what this is. I love this shirt so much. <laughs> this is sick. How come I'm not selling shirts like that? That's that's actually really cool. Like, let's open the little boxes that were in the big box. Really nice packaging. That's pretty exciting. Some goodies for the truck. All right, so yeah, pedal monster. Got a couple pigtails here. Yeah, so another cool thing about this is this connects to like Bluetooth, so you can control everything from the phone. So like, let's say I get onto some fun twisty roads, you might want to, uh, you know, have it in like a more performance setting, more responsive. Uh, then you can do that if you're cruising in the city. Then you can have another mode. It's all customizable. Like this thing isn't just something that makes the truck feel faster and just weird. This thing actually changes how the truck performs everything from like just the throttle feel to how the truck delivers power. It's a, it's a pretty cool system. Um, I'm looking forward to actually trying it long term. I tried it uh, on Workplay TV's video and uh, it, it was surprising. It did more than I thought it would. I was never a big fan of like throttle things but um, this is definitely more than just a throttle uh, enhancer. Now I'm guessing this comes in like every kit, but I'm hoping it's not just mine. Some nice 3D uh, stickers here. That's really nice, it's a nice touch. Gotta love the little extras here and there. And then some zip ties and instructions. Hey, this is nice. So there are QR codes. Um, you just put your phone up to it and you'll get instructions, install video and guide. That's, that's actually pretty cool that they're actually using technology. So you go to the pedal assembly. Um, so basically gas pedals, they used to be attached to the motor with a wire, a cable, direct drive. They don't do that anymore. Now they use uh, fly-by-wire throttle by wire, basically electronic throttles. I don't like it. I ride a lot of snowmobiles and when they went to the electronic throttles, nobody really likes it. Um, there's always a disconnect there. And I really like from when I tried this, um, it kind of got rid of that disconnect a little bit, made you feel a bit more connected to the vehicle. All right, now let's get the iDash out. Now the pedal monster is cool, but for towing and stuff, like performance isn't a big issue. Um, I'm hoping that it'll shift better so I don't have to use the paddle shifters so much. <sighs> this I'm excited about. I'm a big nut when it comes to, uh, you know, reading temperatures, reading, you know, what the motor's doing. I love my boost pressure. Something about these newer trucks is they don't show you on the gauge how much pressure there is. I kind of know the lines are 10, 20, 30, 40, um, but that's also in KPA. Um, it's just, I like to see an actual number, and this will help me do that. Let's see, this is the actual I dash piece, and yeah, it's a pretty simple rig, like hardware wise. I'm sure software, it's uh, not that simple. There's a little SD card slot in the front here that's probably for recording uh, the parameters and everything, which is nice if there's something wrong with your truck, you can literally just record it and show it to a mechanic. I mean, that, that can be a feature right there. I'm sure the possibilities are endless with this, so I'm really looking forward to trying it. Yeah, so that's the plug that goes into the OBD2. I'm gonna be mounting this. Um, I love how small it is too. It's not gonna get in the way of like the view. So I'm probably gonna mount this up high. Definitely gonna do some research on that. And in the next video where I'm actually gonna be hauling something, uh, we're going to install this and we're gonna test it. Boy, are we gonna test it. Huge thanks to Banks Power for sending me all this stuff. Stuff probably isn't too, too cheap. Um, nothing in the diesel world is. I hope I can do the products justice. I want the install and review to be like its own video. I don't wanna just do like a crappy little unboxing, especially where I've been gone so long. So we are going to 
do that in the next video. Right now, I want to also look at another gadget I think you guys are going to think is pretty cool. And it's very applicable to anyone who might be watching this. So the other company I'm going to be doing stuff with is uh, called Reolink. I get a lot of emails asking about, like, brand... Uh, brand cooperations, doing advertisements. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of it is like scams. A lot of it is for junk products. I get a lot, and I mean a ton, of emails asking me to try LED headlights. You guys saw in one video before what I think about most crap Chinese LED headlights that they're sending me for free. Um, don't, don't want LED headlights. I just, I don't want it. Light bars and stuff, yeah. Not LED headlights, but a company finally uh, that isn't shit reached out to me. Um, you know, I'm looking at their reviews and stuff. Everyone seems to like them. It's Real Link, and uh, I'm not sure everything they do, but what they contacted me in regards with is their security camera systems. Um, yeah, so they they reached out to me. It's like, oh, do you want to try some security cameras? They sent me a link. They were cool, but what can I do with security cameras on this channel? Not much. I can't do much. Um, you know, I'm not a homestead channel. I'm not a, I mean, I'm like never actually home <laughs> when I'm making these videos. I'm in like middle of nowhere, Nova Scotia right now. But I did some scrolling, you know, on the old mouse wheel and I came across what could be pretty cool. Um, this, this is a 4G camera system. It's solar charged. You put a prepaid uh, SIM card in it and you can connect with it wirelessly anywhere there's cell service and check in on your shit. Now usually this would be put on a cabin, uh, maybe like a camper, RV, um, you know, you put it on a boat, right? If you have a boat that you want to keep an eye on. Um, yeah, I have a different idea. So <laughs> there are a few videos uh, regarding me getting shit stolen off of my shit. Uh, had a dirt bike stolen, luckily got that back. <laughs> that was a $7,000 dirt bike. That was like three years ago. My best friend helped me track it down. And uh, yeah, we actually found, this was stolen in Montreal, guys. And we actually found it, recovered it and delivered it to the customer. That's mind blowing. <laughs> and yeah, that was pretty cool. You're gonna wanna check that video out. So when they offered to send me a security system, basically, I was like, hell yeah, send that over real quick. So shit's getting in my eyes now, Let's screw it. So basically, and it's really well built too, like this has some heft to it. Um, I'm not sure if I'd like trust to have this like on the trailer, but basically I want to mount this to the trailer. I want to mount this to the trailer and when I park it, um, you know, I can check on it. I can make sure no one's like snooping around. I can make sure that it's not in anyone's way. I can see my customer's stuff. Like, like, let's say I drop the trailer to drive an hour to pick up something else, you know, in the back in the pan of the truck to bring back, you know, to go with everything else. Let's say... You know, something breaks, I gotta drop the trailer off to a shop where they gotta fix it. Um, I can just keep an eye on it. And I really, really don't like leaving customers' things around, um, even if it's just for a short period of time. But with this, I can look around, I think it's like 360 degrees, uh, look up and down, I have full control, and I can just see everything on the trailer and everything around the trailer. So I'm thinking of mounting this to the neck and that'll give me a view at all times of the trailer. And yeah, it comes with a solar panel, or I could run it to the batteries that are in the trailer. Let's see, I think there's a solar panel in here. And yes, there is. It's a little solar panel here. So that'll be just placed on top of the trailer pretty much, I guess. And then a little arm for it. I've had this for like a while. I haven't had a chance to do anything with it. It's been like minus 30, minus 40. Uh, for one, I don't want to use this in minus 40 because just batteries and things freezing and breaking, um, 
I at least want to get the summer out of it before I really torture test it. But I have I have a pretty good feeling about it that it's gonna work fine. Uh, yeah, I just I just didn't want to I just didn't want to push it right away. And trying to work in minus 30, minus 40 is impossible. It sucks. Nobody wants to do it. Um, yeah, just no. So we're getting into spring now. Hopefully everything will be warm, warming up and I'll just be able to do more. And guys, I'm going to let you know how it works. And I know a lot of you, you know, you have like, you have, you have cabins. You guys have these trucks. Not that you'd mount it to a truck, but you could. Um, you know, a lot of you guys are in the trucking industry like me. A lot of you guys are, you know, doing boats, like snowmobile trailers, ATV trailers. You can mount this thing anywhere. As long as you have cell service, you can pop it open, check on it. I mean, literally anything. That's what's going on in my life right now. Um, that'll do. That is like unboxing all the goodies. And, uh, yeah, definitely excited for those. I got some toys to play with. Okay, so I installed it. Well, installed it. Basically just ran the wire up through here. Like, just poked it in down here. I removed the weather stripping. Uh, I don't want to show you guys that because it looks cringeworthy. And plugged it into the OBD2. This is what I'm like really excited about here. So you can see we have a whole bunch of cool parameters. So now when we tow, instead of me showing you the gauges and stuff, which doesn't work anyways, um, and it's dangerous Now we have all our stuff here. So you guys because I know most of my viewers are in miles uh, per hour uh, in the US I mean we have miles per hour speed RPM boost uh, we should have load here somewhere um, Fuel pressure uh, coolant temperature EGR we have like all the cool stuff and uh, So my plan my plan for that is to uh, get like a GoPro like I have like a couple GoPros, but stick something up in there so that instead of me like switching to my gauge all the time you guys can just see that I'd put it on like the corner of the screen um, and you guys can see how the trucks performing um, You know like our speed versus the power and you guys can get like a real sense for you know what the truck is doing under load and how it's handling weight and all that so I think that's uh, that's gonna be a pretty cool addition to these videos. And yeah, Banks is coming in clutch with the gauge system. That is pretty exciting. I'm just gonna suction cup it to the windshield now. And uh, and yeah, I was thinking like I'd have to update it and plug it in and stuff, but it was just plug and play. Plugged it in, started working, set up the gauges how I wanted to. It's a super simple operation. You just... This here, everything's lit. I love the lit up buttons. And then you go into their gauge selection. And uh, yeah, we have diagnostics. Don't want to look at that because it's probably uh, a long, long list. Alerts, um, your logs, shift light. Shift light? Shift light. In conjunction with our paddle shifters here, having a shift light. That's kind of cool. Firmware update, shift light. All right, I'm intrigued here. We got a shift light. So yeah, this thing is like super easy to use. So set RPM, we're in a diesel, so it's actually not gonna be that high. We'll do 2600 for shifting. No need to go up to 2800. Shift light. Okay, I'm so excited. I'm not sure what I'm more excited for, the shift light or the shirt. So I wonder how it works. All right, I'm gonna figure out how this works and we're gonna rip it. Oh, that is actually sick. Oh. I don't know, I think that's pretty cool. I think that I'm digging it. I am digging it. That is a nice product. All right, I'm going to finish installing it and then we'll see what it looks like. Yeah, that seems about right. So yeah, you just take this. You just take the eye dash and you just slide it into this other cup type thing. And then when you clamp it onto the suction cup, it'll just hold it. 
it's one of those good suction cups too like with that gel on the bottom like the sticky sticky like surface I don't know and I find those work really good all right this is starting to make sense this is starting to come together here suction cup goes into this arm arm thing goes into this uh, and that goes into the gauge so we should be able to figure this out oh yeah oh yeah that just slips in there I am very impressed with this product so far now my first the first thing I thought was that the actual eye dash thing um, it's it's like it's not like an LCD screen well it is an LCD screen but it's not like like you know LED like the gauge in the truck or uh, like a TV a, uh, iPhone I feel like in 2021 you'd kind of want like nicer screens does it get the job done yeah is it fine it does look nice it's just uh, just graphics wise I feel like you could do a bit better especially in these more modern vehicles where you know you have touch screen this touch screen that vehicles now are coming with complete digital gauges um, you know like with a whole bunch of graphics and stuff so I, I, I feel like it's a bit dated you know why use the same screens that we used like before 2010 that's like pretty much my only complaint so far oh that's installed guys it was as easy as that Bam! It's uh, pretty close to my face, which I like. Now, when I set up the GoPro and everything, it's, it's probably gonna be a different setup. I'm probably gonna put it lower on the windshield, um, or maybe all the way at the bottom, then have the GoPro hanging and filming this. Uh, that way I don't have to go back and forth showing you the gauge all the time. I can have a camera set up, maybe even a 360 camera is what I'm thinking, set up to show you the road, a camera, set up to show my dumbass talking and then a camera to show you all the you know truck information which i think is like a big part of my videos everyone likes to see like how the truck is handling uh, certain weights it's gonna be awesome to be able to see the temperatures and everything and actually see how the truck is doing because you know you can tell at what rate a truck is wearing out at by like the temperatures you're putting out the higher the temps the less long the truck is gonna last so I got a bit carried away. I didn't end up getting out to the trailer and uh, not gonna be picking up the stuff from Richie Bros. I called them though and make, sh make sure they weren't gonna charge the customer anymore. Um, customers aren't in a huge rush, I don't think. Uh, they just wanted the stuff picked up because Richie Bros doesn't like it when you leave your garbage in their compound. Huge thanks to Banks Power for making this video happen. Um, sending all that stuff out, pretty awesome. And, uh, and yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Glad to be back, and uh, should have some interesting stuff coming up. Yeah, sorry for the, the huge absence, but that's just the way it is sometimes. Um, I don't wanna just put out garbage uh, for nothing for the sake of putting out garbage. We got some good stuff coming up. Guys, that's where we're gonna end the video. I hope you, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed having fun with me, putting on the eye dash, and uh, I'll see you, I'll see you next time. Guys, thanks for watching. Have a good day.